Hey everybody, it's been a while since we did some videos, we had a bit of a summer break here, but we're ready to get back into uh, some learning, and our focus for a while is going to be using .NET in Amazon Web Services or AWS, and we've done some videos on uh, doing ASP.NET Core uh, in Amazon, and I'm going to show you some ways to go ahead and just use regular ASP.NET Web API and specifically what we're going to start with here is how we get our tools set up so that we can easily deploy to Amazon. So the videos so far have shown you basically uh, SSHing onto the server in Amazon and uh, this, these were Linux servers and we're going to actually start using Windows servers. And so uh, basically there was a lot of FTP and manual configuration and we're going to show you that you can do this much, much easier. And there are tools that are available for Visual Studio, uh, specifically the AWS Toolkit, that we're going to start with. So we'll start with getting those tools installed and then I'm going to show you in, a next, in the next video how to do an ASP.NET Web API uh, project and get it to deploy directly to Amazon from Visual Studio, which is a really nice feature. Alright, so if we go out here and look on the internet, uh, I'm logged into the Amazon console. I'm on the free tier, and one thing that I want to point out to you, uh, if you're using the free tier, is that um, on the website, it basically shows you what things are available for free tier and what aren't. Once you install these integration tools, it doesn't necessarily show you that in the tool itself. And so it, you may have to go into the AWS Management Console to look around to make sure that you're getting the right configuration and that you're not getting charged. And remember always to be careful about the passwords that you use and uh, allowing other people to get access to your Amazon account. They can quickly run up a lot of Bitcoin, Bitcoin or other mining um, and run up your Amazon bill. All right, let's get started. So the AWS Toolkit uh, for ASP.NET or Visual Studio is what we should look for here. Let's do that again. So this is actually going to integrate the tool right into Visual Studio. And so here it is. It's up on the Amazon website. And this, this installs right into Visual Studio. Everything works great without any problem at all. So um, this will tell you about it. Uh, I'm going to, there's different versions for different versions of Visual Studio, and I'm going to be doing the 2017 version. Uh, by the way, 2019 is on its way, and as soon as that comes out, we'll be doing some videos around 2019, especially if it affects how we build RESTful web services in Visual Studio. Um, so that'll be coming soon. So over here in the Visual Studio Marketplace, you will find the AWS Toolkit for Visual Studio. It is a free download. So I'm going to download this. And so it's downloading right now. It's about 16 megabytes. And then all we do is open it. You can say open when done. So basically, this is going to allow us to publish directly from Visual Studio, just as if we were publishing to a local web server. And we haven't really looked at publish too much in other videos, but uh, this will be, uh, I think you'll find this to be really convenient. So I'll pause this recording uh, while this gets going, just so you're not having to sit here and wait. Okay, so here we go. It's going to come up and ask if we want to allow the app to make changes to the device. We'll say yes. It's a good idea to go ahead and shut down Visual Studio. It's going to go through and do a bunch of installing here. You'll notice this has almost a million installs, so it's pretty popular. Again, it makes it very easy for you to deploy and work with. You can actually create instances and everything from from within Visual Studio, so it's really, really nice from that perspective. So 
So again, I'm going to pause this while it's installing because this part you don't care about learning. You're just going to sit here and watch it do it. Okay, so here we go. We just select the product that we want to install to. And it's going to go through and do the install. Again, I'm pausing this as it goes, but you can see it's going through and modifying Visual Studio. You can read on this web page a little bit more about some of the features in AWS Toolkit as well. Okay, so when it's done, you'll get this message that says it's been installed. Um, so we'll close this and then we'll open up Visual Studio. I think I've got a virus scan running, which is why things are running a little bit slower. So I'll be pausing things so you don't have to wait. So you'll notice when you first come in that um, there's a new getting started page on here, AWS getting started. You won't see this again, but you can set all these settings. Um, basically what you need is the ability to, um, you, you need to set up a user in Amazon that has um, power user privileges so that the tool can use that account information to get to Amazon and, and manage things in your account. So again, you want to be careful about who you let have access to this. And so um, basically what it's going to tell you to do here is jump over here to the Amazon Management Console and go down to IAM. Which is under security right here. And we need to add a new user. So this is within our account. So we're just adding a new user in our account. And again, this is just going to be used for the tool Visual Studio to be able to access our account. And so if we click on users here and then add user, and you just give it a username. So it can be any username that you'd like. something like that. You want to make sure that you give it programmatic access. So check programmatic access and then hit next permissions. And then select attach existing policies directly. And it tells you that you can either do administrator access or power user. And I'm just going to do both. And then you get a review here that says you have these two policies. We're going to go ahead and create the user. And then it has um, a secret access key and an access key ID. Um, it will let you download a CSV containing this information, so I'm going to do that. So again, you don't want to leave this laying around any place. So I think we're okay with this. I'm just going to copy it over here. Okay, now in the toolkit for Visual Studio, the one, one thing that's a little bit annoying about this is I need to be able to kind of get down below this because there's an import CSV option. And with this in here like this, I can't do it. So I'm going to drag this window out so I can actually see that option. And there it is, import from CSV file, so we'll select that. Again, all you're doing is configuring your permissions on this user that you've created in Amazon that'll give Visual Studio access to And then we'll just save and close that. So you notice the secret keys in plain text there. I'll be deleting this user, so please don't try to hack my account.
Okay, so here you go. You've got all of your options over here. You can pick the region in Amazon that you'd like to look at. So if we do U.S. East, North Virgi Northern Virginia, you're allowed to uh, create new EC2 instances, RDS. Again, in creating those, make sure you understand which ones are free tier and which ones are not. Otherwise, you're going to get charged for those. And you can actually view whichever ones you already have out there. I don't have any in this account right now. But you can set all of that up. So, so now it's set up and ready to go. You can try doing some things like uh, launching an instance from here. And here's our options. Now I know that the Microsoft Windows Server 2016 base is free tier. If I pick T2 Micro. So I'm going to pick that. So you can do the same thing over in the over in the console itself, but all of a sudden now you have access to that. You can terminate instances, you can uh, stop them. So you can manage your your machines in Amazon uh, through this AWS Explorer. But the thing that we're really we're going to be doing in the next video is we're actually going to be building an ASP.NET Web API. And we're going to be deploying through Amazon Elastic Beanstalk, AWS Elastic Beanstalk. And that's kind of an aggregation that deals with, it basically, well, orchestration is a better term for it. It, it basically orchestrates all the things that have to happen for you to get a server set up, the permissions applied to it properly, and all of that. And so we're going to do our installs through Elastic Beanstalk. We're going to publish now that we have the tool installed, we'll now have an option inside of the tools to publish to um, to publish to Visual Studio, or sorry, to publish to Amazon Web Services. And that's what we're going to do. So we'll do that in the next video.